Good morning. This is Pastor Zach with the Goodland United Methodist Church here with your morning devotion. Today I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. Today's devotion is titled, You Will Receive a Crown That Lasts Forever. Every year, an elementary school holds races for every grade. Two boys in the fourth grade have been waiting for this day since the school year began. Each wants more than anything to win, and when the whistle is blown, each runs as hard as he can toward the finish line. Who won? One judge says it was the first boy, while another judge says it was the second. The boys look at each other in astonishment. Did we really tie? It's generally known in sports that anything is better than a tie. Even though statistically a tie is better than a loss, when you're a player or a coach, it makes you wonder how much more work would have gotten you the win. It leaves you dissatisfied. Heaven is a tie we can be satisfied with. Everyone racing for the prize of heaven will be happy to discover that it is a prize to be shared. In heaven, there's no question about who won because, thanks to Christ, we all have won. God's promise to us, there is a place waiting for each of us in heaven. As long as heaven is our goal, we will always win. Our prayer for today. Father, thank you for giving us eternal life in your kingdom. Help us run to win so that we may reach the goal of eternity in heaven. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Have a blessed day.